Hi everyone, this is Heather from WeddingsByHeather.com and WeddingsByHeather.tv. A friend of mine recently sent me this photograph that she had taken for a senior and I am noticing to the left of her arm, right by her jean jacket, that you can sort of see her bra and her shirt. So I want to show you a quick technique that I use in order to cover that area. We actually reviewed this in the advanced Photoshop workshop in our body sculpting series. I'm going to go ahead and on my keyboard press command plus that's control plus on the PC to zoom in. I'm going to hold space bar to access my pan tool so I can see the area. And I'm going to work on a duplicate layer so that I don't destroy any pixels. And I'm going to press command J on my keyboard. That's control J in order to duplicate that layer. I'm going to press M on my keyboard to access the marquee tool. And I'm going to click and drag an area about like this. Now the area that you select is a little bit important because you want the offending area to be in the middle of this selection because we're going to use the warp tool in order to correct this. Let's go to edit in the file menu and choose transform and then warp. So what happens is this selection changes into Beezer handles with squares that we can then warp. So what I'm going to do is click and drag up to the right from this middle handle and I'm never going to drag from these outer handles because it well, what I want to do is maintain the integrity of the outer edge and you'll see why in a moment. So I'm going to click and pull up and in just a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and press enter or return on my keyboard in order to commit that change. I'm going to press command or control D to deselect and I'm going to look at the before and after, <laughs> and obviously all I did was move it up, but that's okay. I'm going to add a layer mask to this photo by clicking the layer mask icon at the bottom of the layers palette. I want to invert this mask in order to hide these changes that I've made. So on my keyboard, that is command I on the Mac, control I on the PC to invert that mask. That is to change it to black to hide these changes. And then what we want to do is press B to access our brush tool. And then all we need to do is start, oh, look at that. My brush is only at 8%. Good thing I caught that. Let's go ahead and put that flow up to 100. And I'm going to make this brush a little bit smaller with my left bracket. And I'm going to start to just cover up that area until I see the top of it. And I'm going to work on this area just to maintain the integrity of the photograph. Okay, so I went too far. I can see that because I'm starting to see her shirt. That's okay. That's the point of layer masks. I'm going to press X on my keyboard to flip my swatches. Because remember, when you're working with layer masks, white reveals, black conceals. So I'm going to paint with my black brush in order to conceal that. I'm going to make this brush a little bit smaller, my left bracket. Because when you're fine tuning this, like right along that edge, you have to be pretty careful in order to make it look natural. Now I see that her arm has been compromised here. So what I'm going to do is sort of paint that back in with my brush. And I'm going to zoom out with a command or control minus and look at my before and after. So all I did was move up her jacket so that you don't see that. And then I used masking. Oh, I notice a little area right here. Let's command plus to zoom in space bar to pan. Do you see that area right there? That would bother me. <laughs> so I'm painting with my black brush and it's not working the way I want. So I'm going to press X to paint with my white brush. And what I'm going to do is kind of angle this in. So it looks more natural because see if I paint it all away, this is what happens. And I get down to that area and I notice that it starts to look much better. So if I look at my before and my after, oh, look at that weed. See that? Get all kinds of crazy. Depends on how far you want to take it. Command or control minus. And I did add that weed in. All right. Oh, here we go. Command or control plus. Uh, there's something I need to introduce to you guys. It's called the minimum effective dose. And it, it goes something like this. If water boils at 212 degrees, why do you feel the need to get it up to 250 or 300? And that is 
when is enough enough? <laughs> and I struggle with that in my editing. You know, when is it good enough that I've added enough value that no one would notice that slight little weed um, because I'm a little bit crazy? All right, that's okay. So here is the before and here is the after. And I'm really happy with the way that that looks. I hope that you found this useful. If you have a question or um, something you'd like me to cover or show you or demonstrate on your photo, please comment or you can submit a question via the link below on my site. Thanks. I'll see you soon.